five and seven minutes. The title of Talal's speech tonight is Growing a Mindset. With his speech entitled Growing a Mindset, please have a welcome to the front of Talal. Imagine it's 1972, and you're one, one young researcher who has just graduated with a PhD. And the question that you're more, most fascinated by, and you're trying to answer, is why different people react to failure in different ways. And to answer this question, you set up a really simple experiment. But by doing that experiment, what you discover will change positive psychology, the human potential movement, and the fields of personal development and self-help forever. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and most welcome guests. If this indeed was 1972, and if indeed you were a young researcher who's graduated from Yale University, then your name could be Carol Twerk. And the experiment you would use to try and answer this question of why different people react to failure differently would be very simple. You pick a room, Take some children, 10 years or younger. You bring them to the room and you give them two sets of puzzles. The first set of puzzles would be very easy. So all the kids can do it. But the second set of puzzles would be really hard. Nearly impossible for these kids to complete. And you sit there. A cup of coffee, maybe a biscuit, digest it, maybe, uh, and then take notes. What do you do? And what you observe from this experiment would be fascinating. Because all the kids, they would come into the room and they would do the easy puzzles. And when it comes to the hard puzzles, you expect them to fail because they're nearly impossible. But what you find out is that some of those children actually get excited. They approach those puzzles with more energy, more enthusiasm. They want to tackle that challenge. They're excited by it. Now that's an outlier. You did not expect that. Why did that happen? But that outlier helps you develop the theory of the fixed mindset and the growth mindset. So you then research it for nearly four decades. Now, this story of the growth mindset versus the fixed mindset was related in Carol Dweck's book, which was published in 2006, called Mindset. And essentially, what it dictates is that if you have a fixed mindset, you have this fundamental belief about yourself that your very basic traits and qualities, such as intelligence, are fixed. And you can never change them. You can never change who you are. While with the growth mindset, you believe that your very fundamental traits and your qualities, such as intelligence, can be cultivated over time with effort. Now, that book, Mindset, written in 2006, has been described as the single most important book in English language, even more important than the Bible itself. It is the number one book on Tom Bilyeu's recommended reading list. Now, how many people here know Tom Bilyeu? Good night. For those of you who don't know, Tom Bilyeu started 
quite a nutrition. As a nutrition company selling nutrition bars and supplements in 2010. Within three years, he grew his company by 57,000% and became a billionaire. Quest Nutrition was acknowledged as the number two company, fastest growing company in Inc. 500 in 2014. So that's what Tom Billy is. Now I came across this and I was very fascinated. But, of course, being seven types of crazy across five dimensions, I did not go for the traditional route of picking up the book and reading it, because that's too slow. I, I want to get results fast. So what I thought was, well, I want to know more about this book mindset thing, so what, what did I do? What I did was to try and find somebody who had researched it, connect with them, and just do an interview. So that's what I did. But in the interview, something really fascinating was mentioned. I asked him, how do you actually cultivate the growth mindset itself? How do you actually develop that? Now this person, I'll give you a bit of background, he had studied the growth mindset for his university thesis. And he studied the most effective strategies in developing and maintaining the growth mindset across three domains of education, sport, and business. And what he said to me was that if you want to develop the growth mindset, what you must do is that for every goal that you have in your life, and for every problem that you're trying to solve, don't give up, don't stop, just flip your strategy and go back about it. And you do that every single time with more effort, more focus, until you achieve that goal or you solve your problem. And this is actually supported by one of Tony Robbins' quote where he says, be committed to your goal, but be flexible in your approach. So, my question to you tonight is, do you think you have a growth mindset? Are you approaching the goals and the problems in your life with a growth mindset? And if not, what's the one thing you can do right now that will allow you to develop the growth mindset and accelerate your life at 57,000% by Tom Bingham? Thank you very much.